Hello and welcome to my channel, Kelly Legends Media. Just taking a real quick cruise right here through my neighborhood while I do this uh, while I do this quick video. Uh, before I start, I want to thank those people who have subscribed to my channels. I really appreciate you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell uh, to support my channel, to support me. And if you like to hear these uh, type of stories. Now, this is a, a, a reaction video to a Paradigm Media News, Big Boxer. I was watching uh, one of his videos yesterday, caught my eye because it had one of my homeboys names on it and it had my neighborhood on the title. The title of this video is 1750 High Power. Okay. It says Hawaii Little Man, LA County Jail, 1750. Now, if you go back and watch this video, he talks about a lot of things uh, regarding Maravilla, regarding Mariana specifically, and regarding two of my homeboys, two good homies. Two homeboys that that we care about and, and love. That's my homeboy Checo, rest in peace. And my homeboy Tonito, rest in peace. And, you know, one thing is when you talk about somebody who's alive, who could uh, answer for themselves and, 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 and defend what's being said about them. But when they're no longer with us, and somebody uh, says something like that, like what was said about them, then somebody like me, I hope, and somebody like my other homies will stand up and answer for him. Now, the fact of the matter is, Checo, Checo was doing whatever Checo was doing. That was, that, that, that's, that's really, uh, this was really his business. We didn't get into his business. He was working for and, and 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 wiggling the way he was wiggling. Some homeboys approved, some homeboys didn't approve. Well, let me get down to, to, to the real funk of this whole matter, okay? Now, Checo had the keys for 1750 in 2000. I was in the county jail at the time. And uh, during that time, certain things, you know, took place there. On the tier, apparently somebody is uh, putting business out into Boxer's ear about what went down and how my homeboy was involved. I I don't even know how to speak on that, but what I what I really want to speak on is the fact that during his spill he mentions that his homeboys from Mariana Maravilla took him out for wiggling the way he was wiggling, all right? Now, it's the furthest thing from the truth, but you know what really trips me out is that homeboy's murder, that homeboy's murder is a cold case. Hasn't been solved. And he goes and he puts out there that it was his own homeboys that did him which opens up a, a whole new door of speculation, you know? Now, some people think they know what happened to Checo. I think I know what happened to Checo. And, and, and some of us don't agree. But one thing that's farthest from the truth that any one of us had anything to do with it. Anybody from my neighborhood. Now, Checo was involved with a lot of things. When, when he first got into my neighborhood, hey, he was a straight, straight gangster. That fool was with the business, trust me. I know when we were kids, I put in work with him. And, and, and boy was, the boy was deadly, all right? As he, as he started going to the joining things, he started running with the Maravillosos. Now, Boxer mentions the Maravillosos in his, in his video. 
He said it, it encompasses everybody uh, from Maravilla that when we got the green light, we called ourselves Maravillos. Maravillosos, I've explained it before and I'm going to explain this again. And hopefully for the last time, uh, is a is or was a prison gang. Yeah, there's still Vatos from Maravillosos around, but it was very prevalent back in the days back before Boxer was even born but it was a prison organization okay that's 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 where their get down was they had a lot of respect from the guys from Maravilla and, and they preached their gospel okay but Checo he was from from the real Maravillosos and when they started wanting to tax him and take a third of his of his of his dope when he was in prison, he broke away from them, and he covered up his maravilloso tattoo. And uh, next thing I heard, he started wiggling with another group of fellas. Okay, now some homeboys might have felt some kind of way about that. But Checo was always in and out of prison. And when he when he wasn't, he was busy, man. He 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 kept his nose on the on the on the grinding wheel, man, and, and was putting in work for who he was working for. He got killed during the time when the green light was off already. I know this because I was in prison in 2002. And I was waiting to get him on the phone to speak to him. And when I called home to arrange the time and get the number where to call him, I was told that he had he had been killed down in Cuddy Hay Bell Gardens area, Maywood area, down that way. Had no idea why or who or anything at that time. But it, we... My neighbor was definitely not involved. We had love for the boy. That guy was my brother from another mother. When his mom died, my mom tried to sign her house to cover the security that it was going to take for Checo to come out and attend his mother's funeral. Not only that, but I grew up spending many a nights at Checo's pad after going out and partying, you know, all day, all night in the neighborhood with him or, or whatever we were doing, you know? And I'd always be chilling at his pad. I knew Checo very well. Everything I say, is no, there's no speculation in it or anything. Uh, I'm telling you what I know. And I know for a fact because when I heard what I heard, uh, I've made phone calls and talked to a lot of people and it's, it's bullshit, you know? I, I knew it already, but confirmation before I opened my mouth on my channel. So, Boxer, you're misinformed about what the Maravillosos are and who they are and, and what they are. And, and yeah, nowadays a, a lot of young guys from Ariana call themselves Maravillosos. The marvelous ones were marvelous, were from Maravilla. That's different. But originally, I told you what the Maravillosos were and are, okay? Uh, Checo died in good standing with the neighborhood. Checo rest in peace. Boxer, you know, I don't know who's giving you your information, but he's sadly mistaken. As far as Tonito goes, yeah, it's true. Tonito had a meeting with Chuco. They were going to talk about the taxation and everything and or whatever was going on at that time. And uh, but I could tell you this, whatever happened with between Tonito and, and Chuco had nothing to do with all of a sudden Maravilla breaking away from any organization. OK, Maravilla was always the way they were. A lot of you guys don't know because you're too young. But since the, since the 50s, 60s, 70s, you even mentioned sometimes in, 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 I guess you're reading something where 
they broke away long time ago and, and there was always that love-hate relationship with Maravilla because there was a lot of guys from Maravilla in, in, in different organizations, okay? Now, what, what happened with the green light had nothing to do with anything except for what was, uh, what was happening during that one specific time, okay? When these meetings at the parks were taking place and stuff. Had nothing to do with anything before that. And when the light came off, that 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 was that that was done with. I don't know why people keep insisting on making videos and, and bringing up old stuff. You know, uh, uh, I guess it catches views or whatever. But you know, I, I think it's better to catch some views with some truth. You know, and I know, I know, you 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 know, some people run with things just because it's going to get a lot of views and stuff. I think it's wrong. You know, I think there should be some integrity with with whatever's being whatever's being said. What's going on, homie? Uh, whatever's being said and stuff uh, on on YouTube. You know, because you're telling people things and you're misinforming them. And man, you're gonna put some information in somebody's head. Put put some truth and put you know good information. You know, don't put lies into their head or things that people assume. You know, or you know, I think it's a dangerous thing, uh, boxer. The way you 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 uh, you put stories out with things that people tell you. You know, things change as stories get told and stuff. Anyways, that's your business. Good luck with you, your channel, everything you do. You know, this is nothing personal, but at, in the same token, I'm speaking from my homeboy Checo, and my homeboy Checo, he died in good graces with his barrio. And, and 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 like I said, Checo, rest in peace. We love you, homie. Anybody who watched this video and and followed me, you have any questions or anything, hit me up in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them uh, as, as long as I'm able to. There's some things I don't speak on, but uh, I especially don't speak on cold cases and say, oh, so and so, these vatos murdered this guy, and <laughs> it's an open case. Come on. Come on, it, it doesn't take too much sense, you know, to watch your P's and Q's. Uh, the, you know, this vato is supposed to be vato pinto, well-educated, schooled, informed, he wrote a million essays and I don't know what, and yet he goes and does something so foolish as that, you know. Anyways, it is what it is. Thanks for watching my video. Take care. Hang on to your freedom. Stay out of those places. They're nothing nice. God bless.